All right, man, we back. Mercy Sports Talk, we in the building. Wasn't a video I was planning on doing. Pistons don't play tonight, so uh, squeeze this in. Uh, I was watching Dave Burkett Twitter page, so watch his Twitter page a lot. Got a lot of good news, good insight. And I guess uh, whoever one of the writers from the Lions, Tom, whoever it was, and I'll link the article in the description. Um, and I seen on social media, a lot of Lions fans say, oh, if the Lions uh, sign Kaepernick, I'll be done with the Lions. And, and his inbox also was saying, oh, how can I complain with the Lions signing Calvin Kaepernick? Look here, man. The reason I say not sign Kaepernick is because strictly football reasons, okay? It's strictly football reasons. It's, that's just plain and simple. You know, I think the Lions should tank. That's my, just plain and simple. I did a video on it yesterday. I think they should just tank. All right, nothing to do about what he stood for or nothing like that, but I find it funny, okay? I find it funny, oh, uh, if they do Kaepernick, I'll be done with the, the Lions and go on 16. The Fords can run this franchise into the ground since 1957, and it takes for Colin Kaepernick for you fools to go out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You fools to go out there and not support the Detroit Lions, sign that motherfucker today. <laughs> Excuse my French. Sign him today. You know what I'm saying? If that's what it's gonna take to hit the Fords, to hit the Fords and they, uh, hit them in their pockets, sign him today. But forget it. We ain't got to see him throw a football in the stands. We ain't got to see him throw a, a comeback route, a nine skinny post, post corner, corner post, flag. I ain't got to see him. Sign him today. If Callan Kaepernick is getting signed to the Lions, mean a lot of you dudes, a lot of you people that live in other places outside of the Metro Detroit area that come from Traverse City. That come from Saginaw, Muskegon, Milford, Lansing. If that mean y'all gonna stop supporting the Detroit Lions and hit them in their pocket finally, sign Kaepernick right now. You know what I'm saying? Because you the ones, y'all do, you're not, not the people in the city of Detroit. They ain't the ones. The people in the city of Detroit understand I'm not the majority of them. I'm not going down there to support them. Okay? Only when I feel like it, but I, you know what I'm saying? They not the ones. They're the people that come in the snowstorm to come watch the Lions, you know what I'm saying? And spend their money at Ford Field for improved Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? Because they got a slowest barbecue express now. But on a serious note, I didn't hear people saying they'll boycott the NFL when Kerry Collins dropped the N-bomb in the Carolina Panthers locker room. When Riley Reef was throwing the N-bomb at the concert. Okay? I didn't hear y'all saying y'all was going to boycott then. Don't give me that it's about the troops. No. The troop already, one of the <clears throat> veterans already explained to Kaepernick that kneeling is not a sign of disrespect to the national anthem or to the troops. Okay? To get it through y'all mind, you know what I'm saying? His his thing was social, social to, to inform about what's going on in, in the community, about innocent black people getting killed. Okay? About police brutality. And guess what? It's still going on. And y'all don't care about what go on in the hood. But guess what? Y'all want to bring y'all asses down to Detroit and support the Lions? The Lions play in the city of Detroit, not in Pontiac no more. The Detroit Pistons play in the city of Detroit. Not in Auburn Hills anymore. Not the Silver Dome anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't play there no more. So that's what he stood for. It wasn't disrespecting the troops or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So all them people that's in their feelings about counting count, oh, don't sign them and, and this and that. I want, We don't care if you don't come to another Lions game. We don't care. We don't care if you don't come back to the city of Detroit. We won't be hurting. <laughs> Trust me. We won't be hurting. Because a lot of them is just, a lot, all of them is closet racist. That's just what it boiled down to. When Tebow was kneeling and, and, and for his Lord and Savior, you didn't see all the people that's saying this, that's atheists had a problem with Tebow kneeling. You didn't, they didn't have one problem with Tebow kneeling, you know? And, and, and let, you know, he was, oh, my Lord and Savior. Gee, everybody don't believe in that. And a lot of people that's, that's saying, oh, if Calvin Cameron, they atheists. So what were, where was the complaint about uh, Tim Tebow kneeling during the national anthem? Well, he was kneeling for God. Everybody don't believe in God. Everybody don't be, believe in the Bible. He should, he's sitting here pushing his Bible verses on everybody. Everybody don't believe in that book. 
Real talk. Everybody don't believe in that book, so ain't nobody trying to hear all that. Ain't nobody trying to hear all that. Just, just keep it 100. Say, I don't like him because he black. And, and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I respect it because at the end of the day, I know where you sit. So don't give me all this, oh, he this, he that. Come on, man. Come on. Now, for people like me, like, like people on the other, other side of the thing that say he just can't play, can he be any worse than Jeff Driscoll? Oh, Kaepernick is garbage. He can't play and, and this, that, and the third. And they come up with football reasons for it. What what about what about Jeff Driscoll? Huh? What about Time 21 Savage? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, keep it 100. Is it Kyle Kaepernick any worse than is he better than Jeff Driscoll? With a workout approval. I think he better than Jeff Driscoll when he was playing. Well, don't sign Colin because he's a garbage quarterback. And what about Jeff Driscoll? What about Jeff Driscoll? You know what I'm saying? What about Tom Savage? What about Dan Orlowski all the years he was here? You know what I'm saying? Sam Darnold was absolute horseshit. So don't don't give me, don't give me for people that's coming with football reasons. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. If he could play at the when he left Air, the 49ers, if he at least that, come on, he provides something. You got undrafted rookie free agent starting. Ryan Finley for the Bengals. He sucked last week. Uh, the one Nathan Peterman played in this league and threw a thousand picks in a row. J J uh, 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 Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills can't even play. They always talk about Lamar Jackson can't throw. What about Josh Allen? You know, he just run around with, like, with a chicken with his head cut off and just make plays. He don't have no, he not punctual. He not on time with his throws or he not clean with his with his with his drop back. So yeah, he pass me with that. You know what I'm saying? Ninety nine point percent, ninety nine percent of the people that do, that that's against Kaepernick because he kneel is racist. And that's cool. You can be whatever you want to be in this world. Just don't just don't disrespect me. In the physical form, I don't care what you say on, on on the internet. Internet is what it is. Everybody a game banger. Everybody tough on the internet. But keep that same energy if you see me in person. I don't care what your preferences is, man. I'm not sensitive like that. But if it, it would, but if it take for Calvin Kaepernick to sign the Lions for y'all to boycott the Lions and to get the force, uh, get the force to sell the team, hey dog, I'm with that plan. But y'all know what it is. Mercy Sports Talk. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support, man. Want we'll to make a donation? Link description. Best donation you can make. Share the video. And uh, check my other channel out, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, entertainment. Y'all know what the business is. One time for one time, we gone.